We are the people who get to Akhirah through dunya rather than trying to get around it. And we don't really believe in attempts to get around it because the nafs is there however much or however little you have. And desire is there whether or not you have the possibility of satisfying it. So the illusion of the monastic cell is, is one that, that we choose not to believe in. But in any case, the point is that what we have with the Holy Prophet, which is, as we've said, the, the beginning and the end of what it is to be a Sunni Muslim is to emulate the Sunnah of the Apostle, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, is this attitude to dunya that to us makes us uncomfortable when we're anxious about what car we're driving and where we're going on a holiday. It makes us uncomfortable because it's challenging not to have a coin in your house at the end of each day, not to have anything. How would we feel? Uh, maxed out on your credit card and you go to see a counsellor because you're so stressed about it. Holy Prophet ﷺ had no problem sleeping because of his trust in his Lord. That's a very challenging human model. To be in the world, but not for the world and not of the world, but to help the people of the world. That's the essence of what it is to be a Muslim, to be submitted. To accept that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created this amazing diversity and brilliance of creation with all of its signs, which if the heart is open and tender can be read in order to strengthen our iman. We are here to see all of these things, not to run away from them. Even in difficult situations, there is always a lesson for the believer. Even in the faces of the tyrants, there is always a lesson for the believer. Even in ugliness, the believer benefits in every moment. And if you have the correct disposition of the heart, you'll make more progress by having a career and being an ordinary married human being in the world than you ever would if you were running away and living in a cave and eating you know, a few dates every way, every day. This is the sunnah, this is the way of, of the Holy Prophet, this is the way of Islam. And alhamdulillah, it's on the surface an easy way, but of course we know that those inner battles are difficult. So this is really what the ulama have said historically when talking about this thing that the Orientalists and a lot of us nowadays refer to as Sufism. They're saying it's a way of being. Tasawwafa means 